Today on Newsbreak, we'll take a look at what happened today in history. We'll also take a look at today's top stories. All this and more on this Thursday, March 9th, 2017. Good afternoon, I'm Slate Jess, I'm Dawson Aaron Store. And I'm Courtney Dell today. Let's take a look at your top stories for today. The FFA is having a fundraiser that includes a variety of meat, cheese, candy, and cookie dough. They are also selling an assortment of tumblers, including a special made Spirit Like Indians tumbler. Talk with an FFA member or stop by the egg room to place your order. Mr. Vanderwill will provide after school tutoring in room 221 today from 3.30 to 4.30 p.m. Makerspace openings are available on Tuesdays and Thursdays during common time. Sign up on Flux to stand to reserve your spot. Key Club will be helping with bingo at Well Cove Assisted Living tomorrow during common time and Hawkeye Care Center next Tuesday on March 14th during common time. Key Club members may sign up on Google Doc or any interested students may email Mrs. Duffy by Thursday at 3.30 to get involved and volunteer. Semi-formal is scheduled to be tomorrow night in the Black Box from 8.30 to 11.30. Cost is $5 and proceeds go to the Heisman family. There is a song request sheet in the office. If you have any questions about music, contact Dylan Reynolds or Tyler Knudsen for details. A new opportunity is open for next year's J-Term. The team will be going down to McAllen, Texas to build houses for low-income families, serve at local soup kitchens, and more. If you're interested, please attend the informational meeting with the parents at night at 6.30 p.m. in the high school library. See Mr. or Mrs. Blood with questions. A pickleball intramural is scheduled for tonight. Singles start at 7 p.m. with doubles to follow. Sign up with Coach Beloy if interested. The next Art Society event at the Pearson Lakes Art Center is scheduled for tonight at 5.30 and the theme is Symbolism. It is free to attend if you have any questions, contact Mrs. Brunsmore. There is Spirit Lake Park Track clothing available for sale and orders are due by tomorrow. Happy birthday today to Preston Murray. Now let's send it over to Kai Kai with today's weather. Alright, so take a look at today's weather. We've seen mostly cloudy skies all throughout the day today with a high of around 37, so quite a bit cooler than in the last couple days. Um, winds 10 to 15 miles an hour out of the north northeast, cooling down tonight all the way down to uh, 5 degrees, so that'll be much colder than it has been. And then going into tomorrow, we'll see partly sunny skies, so the sun poking out again a little bit there with a high of around 22. Winds at 10 to 15 miles an hour out of the north, with a low of 12 Friday night with a steady percent chance of snow, and we could see up to around 2 inches. Um, but however, there is not really a, ch a good or wind is not expected with this. Just around 10 miles an hour out of the north um, throughout the overnight hours into Saturday, um, shifting over to the east. Still 10 miles an hour on Saturday with a high of 24, so the snow will um, should stay around for a couple days here. And Saturday morning, we could see a 30% chance of scattered flurries uh, or snow showers and um, then cloudy skies in the afternoon and on Saturday night we could see a low of 13 and then on Sunday we could also see again a chance of um, snow but tune in tomorrow to hear more about that. Let's look at your weather, back to you guys. Now let's send it over to Mary Beth with Today in History. On this day in 1959, the first Barbie doll was put on display in the American Toy Fair in New York City. Barbie was the first mass-produced toy doll in the United States with adult features. In 1985, the first Adopt a Highway sign was put up. The highway was adopted by Tyler Civitan Club, which committed to picking up trash along a designated two-mile stretch of the road. On this day in 1997, rapper Notorious B.I.G. was killed in Los Angeles. He was shot to death at a stoplight just a few weeks before his album was scheduled to be released. That is a look at Today in History. Back to you guys. That is all the time we have for today, SLHS. Thank you for watching and have a